Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie's class. In this uh, um, this video, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a short row for this shawl, this big leaves steam the be beaded shawl. Yeah, I'm going let's put on lighting up. Um, this is the way I do short row. There are so many ways you can do short row, but I'm going to show you how to do the way I do. I found out this is very easy and simple to make a short row. So you can say this part is all short row. Okay, let's get it started. And this pattern is two stitches, make turns. Like say, this is the edge stitches, so you want to right here, two stitches, make a turn, then two stitches, make a turn. Here's how it goes. Okay, you knit to the two stitches, the last two stitches, and make our first turn. Okay, we have start our first turn. The two stitch left, you would turn it, turn to the wrong side. And here's how I do the short row. You're gonna yarn over around the right needle. It's a pearl stitch, so I'm going to yarn over around the right needle. So you don't want to like this much gap. So you want to hold the yarn over tighter you can around the right needle. Then you continue finish this whole row. Okay. Stitches. Okay, when we go to the second turn, the pattern tells you two stitches, knit the two stitches last the turn. So we have a, let's see, if you want to, let's see, to put the markers, it will be a lot easier for you to um, recognize what is the last turn. This is the yarn over we created the last first time. So I would put a yarn over, um, so I will put a marker here, so it can easy to see. Okay, two stitches before the last turn. So I have two stitches before the last turn. And I'll turn again. And you do the same way, yarn over around the right needle. Bring the yarn to the front, yarn over. Make sure maybe the tighter you can. You don't want too much gap. Then I'm going to continue to purl all the way. And I'm going to show you one more time. This is my age stitch. Knit two. Okay, you can put a marker again. As you can see, this is the yarn over we create. You went into the two stitch before that yarn over uh, last turn. Okay, we're gonna knit two there. Let's see, we're almost there. Not yet. Two more stitches. Okay, so this is the last turn, last the yarn over, then two stitch before the last turn. We're gonna turn it again, and you're gonna do the same way. Make the yarn over tighter, then finish this row. And I will come back when I finish the totally this short row. Okay, I'll finish the whole row of the short row. You can see again, you can put a marker, easy for you to see it. So this is the first one, create a yarn over the short row. And two, two stitch make turns. This is yarn over, two stitch make a turn, two stitch until we have a two stitch left. Then we're going to finish this short row. Here's how I'm going to knit until you see the yarn over. Then you're going to do yarn over and the next stitch, knit them together. So this is the yarn over, the short row, the yarn over. Then you're going to knit them together. Then continue the next one. So short row, 
to knit them together and knit them together so that's why when you the other side when the yarn over make it tighter you can so you don't see the gap the gap, the gap will be a lot smaller so I'm going to continue to finish so this is the yarn over short little yarn over I'm going to knit with the next stitch together until you finish the whole row and follow the pattern Okay, I'm going to I'm going to put this, take this off. And let's take a look. Okay. Here's my short row. From the front, you can see, you don't really see the gap at all. So that's why I think this, I found the easy way to do my short row. So you can see the short row here. And this is the right size. This is the wrong size here. Just the wrong size. There you go. And let's take a look at this shawl again. And here you can see from the right size, the short row. To here, the short row. It's right here. Looks pretty good. And I have another video on um, breaking down the shawl, how to make this shawl. And this pattern is free. You can download from my library. And I hope you like this video and the way I do short row. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.